Yo, what's up everybody? It's like, I don't know, 7 o'clock, I guess. 648 to be exact. And I am back um, on this lake trying to find me some big bluegills. Like shoot a video. Um, so the main lake temperature, this is like a, this is a finger off the lake, is like 66. And it's 72 in here, so this is prime area for spawning bluegills. Um, I'm just going to go down the shoreline here, look for, I'll show you what I'm looking for. See that? Sand, sandy shorelines, okay? I know that, that there's, the sand extends out from here, and I'm, uh, going to just pitch my baits up in, my, my crawler up and down here. And I'm literally just going to run the shoreline, and just, that's actually, I've been doing it since, like, over there somewhere. And I connected on a big bluegill right here, so we're just going to hope there's more and keep throwing, keep tossing out there. So let's get at her boys and girls. There's one right there. Boom, first cast. There must, I don't know if they're bedded up over there or what the deal is, but. Monsters, but jeez, this is a, this one's fighting like a bass. It's so big, oh yeah. Big, giant, absolute giant, you guys. Look at the size of this bluegill. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's making my drag go crazy. Wow. Look at, look at this thing. Look at the profile on this thing. It literally has no head, I mean no neck at all. There we go. Look at that. Oh, Ooh, and it's peeing on me. See how big this one is? Just under nine and a half, but I'll tell you what, that bluegill is gonna be three quarters of a pound, I would say. There's one. Haha. <laughs> Got him side. Ooh. That is a bluegill, right? I don't know. Maybe this is it. It's a bass. No, it's a bluegill. It's just a mega tanker. Mega tanker. Man, these things are so big. Look at that. Holy crap. Freaking stud. And he's peeing on me. That's cool. Another nine plus incher. Like nine and a nine and a quarter. Are they fanning the beds? Because his tail's darn near gone. Look at the forehead on that thing, though. Okay. Another one way out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. It's gonna be another bigger one, I think. Oh yeah. Yep. Just a huge bluegill. Wow. Look at this. I know I've said that lots of times. Jeez, this thing is so big. Oh, yeah. Look at, the, look at that thing. Is that even real? Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that fish. You guys, things got like a double chin. I'm not even kidding you. 
Look at that freak. There you go, buddy. Go make some babies. Another one. This one feels like another real nice fish. You guys, nothing gets me more pumped up than a giant bluegill. These things fight harder than anything. A big bluegill like this, another just a toad. Just a freaking toad. Look at that guy. Just a pig. Look at that. Oh my lord. Should probably scale with. Maybe I have it in here. I know these are all big, over a pound, easily. Look at that thing. Only nine and a half inches long, and I guarantee you that fish is over a pound. I'm gonna look, I might have my, give me one second here, Mr. Bluegill, but I think I might have my, oh it is, I got my scale with. Let's weigh some of these. Quick. Okay, zero, zero. We're, gonna, not, we're just gonna clip it on your little nose here, buddy. There we go. One pound, four ounce. Nine and a half inch bluegill, that is one pound, four ounce. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Another one. Boom. Shakalaka. Decent. Oh yeah, that's a that's a decent wheel. Crawler here. Oh, there's one. Got him. Got him. Big. Big. Another nice one. I guess he's not giant, but he's darn nice. I'm gonna buzz ahead here a little bit. There's one. There's one there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice fish. The wind's blowing my... I'm trying to fight a bluegill and get my boat. Nice fish, dude. Out of the fishy zone. Gonna be a hoss for sure. <sighs> yeah, this is probably the biggest one yet. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. That is a freak of nature, man. Look at that. You show me bluegills like this consistently anywhere in Minnesota and I would probably have a heart attack. I'm going to say 1-8. 
on this fish. It's such a big fish, you guys. Look at that thing. Only, and only, look at that. That fish is only nine and three quarter inches long, okay? Okay, I want to make sure it's zeroed out. One three, I guess. Gosh. Still, look at the size of that monster. <laughs> two hands, you guys. Two hands. <clears throat> it took me a lot of searching to find these guys, but it's worth all of it. All the looking. There's one. Oh yeah. So epic. Seriously. Just giant bluegill hammer fest. I might even call that call this video the giant bluegill hammer fest. Another huge stout gill. that <laughs> oh that's what dreams are made of right there's one way over by the birch tree wow I know it's gonna be a whole video of me just bragging about how these giant bluegills are awesome, but it's just so true. Another big fish. Another really big fish. Look at that. Another guarantee it's pound. Big old ear tab on that guy. Thank you for showing up, Mr. Bluegill. Made my day. Mm. Another one. Boom. This one's, jeez, this one's pretty stout. And you know, this is why I use six pound test line. People wonder why I use six pound test line. Well, when you're battling one pound bluegills, it's something you gotta do. Gosh, this is a big one. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Ooh, it's just... Look at that, look at that. Look at the ear tab on my thumb. <laughs> oh, ooh, that one's, that's a 10 inch fish, got a 10 incher, and he's tall, oh my gosh, he's tall, there we go, Ways. Let's say one six. Oops. Hold on. There we go. Zeroed it out. One 
One four. Just a monster, ladies and gentlemen. Just a monster. Minnesota public water monsters. One pounder after one pounder. Got one way back there. Oh yeah. They must be just stacked out, oh, stacked up in there. Another good one. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's, it's a big deal. It's a big, big fish. Holy. Look at the colors on this behemoth. Look at it right here. Wow. Just another absolute pig. Another one pound fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that one's at nine and three quarter. But once again, these things are just so big, you know. Look at that. Oh, right there. I was just about to start reeling in and one hammered it. It's a big female. It's a big female, you guys. Oh my gosh. I mean, big female. Look at how big that thing is. Ugly. Pretty, but she's pretty battered up, you guys. I think it is anyway. Oh yeah, I can see it under the water out there. Is that a bullhead? No. Oh, that's a bluegill. I saw some really strange looking colors on them. Beautiful. Wow, look at the orange on this thing. Beautiful colors on that guy. I got him going back into the water. Oh. Bass? Bluegill. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this female. That's... <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Mama, we're going 
inch ago. It was just crazy. It's just crazy how big you are. I don't know, 10 inch? 10 inch female. bluegill beat down is, is pretty much what I can call it I mean I don't know how many bluegills I caught over a pound it was ridiculous they were so big man this is my favorite time of year to go out and try and catch some you know you get the heaviest weights um, just gotta be responsible you know fish like those that I'm catching are you know nine ten uh, years old you know I don't know. Most, you know, they, they put in the, the big bluegill initiative to protect some of those big fish like that. So we have them in lakes like this. Um, so I just let them all go, you know. I could keep, I could have kept some of the smaller, like eight, eight and a half inches. Nothing wrong with that, guys. I just throw back those big trophies. Those are the ones that protect the beds, that have the good genetics, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I'm just such a big, I'm such a big, big bluegill fanatic. Uh, yeah. Anyway cruising the shoreline uh, what you could do and actually I have it I see it on my side imaging here you could just run the shoreline and look for beds on your side imaging that's you know easy peasy way to do it me I just went to the shoreline just started going and casting 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 um, I turned on my side imaging now and I can actually see beds up here that I was catching those bluegills on there's a bunch of beds along here anyway let them all go let them spawn uh, one seven was the biggest one big fat female she was a lovely lady might I add she was nice anyway brand new tuned up custom rod seven foot two apex elite ultralight uh, Kuma Seamar so this is actually a bait feeder reel CBF 1000 um, I don't know I bought them to try them I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not really impressed with them um, I don't know, they just seem better for ice fishing then. Maybe they're not even meant for this, I don't know. They just seem better for ice fishing in my opinion. Um, I do have the PC Fun uh, Carbon X 1000 here. I'm not gonna lie, I like that real better. But anyway, check out this rod, you guys. Isn't that money? Check out that, check out that wind grip handle on it. Oh my gosh, ain't she a beaut? That's gorgeous. Anyway, um, Split shot and a night crawler on a plain hook, man. Casting them up there. Shablow. That's how it was going, man. Uh, I have Seaguar 100% fluorocarbon on here, six pound test. Also, I'm not going to, I normally don't use fluorocarbon. I just use Berkeley Trilene six pound. This stuff is really twisting up. I don't know why. I'm not a fluorocarbon expert. Right here. Catch products. This is their bump board. Awesome for trophies and panfish and perches and stuff. They actually make a longer one to measure your big crappies and your big perch and stuff. Just kidding. Walleyes. Good stuff. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I'm off of a main lake. It's just warmer back here. And this is where a bunch of the bluegills are spawning. I'm, I, you know, once the water temp warms up there a little bit, they'll be spawning up there as well. But it just seems like these early ones are the biggest ones. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this bluegill beatdown. It was freaking epic. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Peace out.